Are we live? We rolling? All right, listen. We are filming this on September 14th, so we're like five days away from Mayweather Marquez. And I wanted to weigh in on this, so with my two cents, I've been uh, watching some great videos on YouTube. You know, part of that boxing community. I've been watching my man Casino, my man Blood, my man Talk Boxing, uh, Max Boxing, you know, and a couple other sites. So I just wanted to weigh in with my two cents on it. Because one of the things that I'm not really hearing anybody say, and this is how I feel, so this is my contribution to the community. You know, when Mayweather announced that he was returning to boxing, a part of me was really disappointed to hear that because the man had an undefeated record. He said he'd accomplished everything he wanted to accomplish in the sport. He said he didn't need any more money. That was no longer motivation for him. He wanted to go on to do other things in the entertainment industry with his filthy rich records and everything. And I was really happy to, to see that and to hear that because we don't, we don't have a champion like that today. You know, we don't have a champion like that. The champions that we have are the guys that don't know when to quit, keep coming back for just one more fight, one more fight, until they end up get their butts handed to them and go out, you know, in a very in a very sad way. So I would love to see somebody, you know, go out while they're still at the top of the game. And um, you know, I was hoping that Mayweather would be that person. Years ago, I had the pleasure of interviewing uh, Roy Jones when he was still at the top of the light heavyweight division. And one of the things that we spoke about is him making the transition from boxing to the rap game that he was pursuing and being the CEO of his own record label. And I wrote in the article that I hoped he would find fulfillment in the music so he wouldn't have to come back and, and just replay this, this, this same old drama that we see all these boxers and champions uh, replay. I was there at Madison Square Garden the night when Sugar Ray Leonard had his, got his ass handed to him by Terry Norris. And, uh, you know, it didn't have to be like that. You know what I mean? It didn't have to be, but the guy didn't know when to stop. And even with Terry Norris, that still wasn't his last fight. He still came out again after that against Camacho and just got steamrolled. So, I mean, I would love to see one of our champions go out on the top. That's all I'm saying. The fight is five days away. Um, my prediction is uh, Mayweather. And what I did just to kind of brush up over the last uh, week or so, I watched um, Mayweather against Castillo, fights one and two. And I watched... Um, Pacquiao against Marquez one and two, and of course you know we saw the Ron Juan Diaz fight you know not too long ago, so that fight is still fresh in my mind. Um, Marquez really doesn't have the type of style that would give Floyd a lot of problems. People say that Marquez is slow. That's not 100% true. His hand speed is very good. His problem is that his footwork is horrible. He's extremely slow. He's like a wooden soldier on his feet, and Floyd's movement is going to create a lot of opportunities for Floyd. Also, Marquez's mentality, he has the mentality of a counterfighter. So he's going to allow Floyd to strike first and then try to work his game off and around whatever Floyd does. Okay. So the problem with that type of fight against Floyd is that you're allowing Floyd to dictate the tempo and the pace of the fight. In order for somebody to beat Floyd, it's going to have to be a Pacquiao type fighter. And I'm not saying at this point that Pacquiao is even going to beat him. You know, we'll talk about that when and if that fight happens. I'm saying that um, it's got to be a fighter that forces Floyd to fight at a fast pace. And none of these guys, if you look at his last you know, handful of fights or whatever, were able to do that. I mean, Hatton tried to get him to fight at a faster play, a pace, or Hatton tried to get him to fight at a faster pace by wrestling with him. Yeah, what do you mean? You can't even the game is boxing, not wrestling. You got to throw punches. You know, Dale Hoy didn't do it. You know, everybody who's going to allow him to control the tempo and pace of the fight is going to lose, and Marquez is going to be another guy if he goes in there with a counterpunch mentality and he lets Mark, he lets up Floyd set this slow pace, then Floyd is just going to he's going to pick him apart. So that's my prediction. Uh, Mayweather, I don't know if it'll be knockout or decision. The only intangible with Mayweather, of course, is the layoff. You know, you wouldn't expect him to come in and be 100% sharp after a two-year layoff. But that is balanced by the fact that the fight was postponed for two months, so basically he's had like two training camps. So I really don't think that the rust is going to be a, much of a factor. And for a man coming back into the game at the age 32, I'm not even looking for him at, 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 with, this, with this long. He's young enough, resilient enough to come back, and also with the extra extended training camp, that's only going to help him also. 
So the only other intangible that could possibly hurt him is I heard, and one of you guys can correct me on this and, and put that correct information out. I heard they were fighting at a catchweight. They were fighting at a catchweight, of course, that favors Marquez. And I don't know why in the world you know, Floyd want to agree to that. It would make the man step up and whatever. So um, that, that article that I mentioned also about Roy Jones, by the way, you can um, download that article for free on my website, which is stoneheartbx.com. That's stoneheartbx for the Bronx, stoneheartbx.com. You can download that article for free. You have to sign in and opt in there. And uh, if you're a fight fan, I'm sure you'll enjoy that because the Roy, Roy Jones' company said that was the best article that was ever written on Roy Jones. So, my name is Kevin Thomas. I'm the creator of One Point Magazine and the author of Stoneheart the Bronx. Signing off. I'll be watching you guys on the channel. The S on my hat stands for Stoneheart. Peace.